Hello folks, good evening and welcome to the Little Farmer's Farm with me, Guru Mafinda, aka Tony. If you like what you see on today's episode, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. But comment and like if you're a subscriber or not. We love that interaction. Um, if you're already a subscriber though, hit that bell notification button so you don't miss another exciting episode with me and the boys down here in Eden. On today's episode, we're going to be doing potatoes in the buckets. Now, I spoke about this yesterday. I'll just show you what we're uh, about. So that central bed there was uh, thoroughly weeded and I put the membrane down on it. The membrane in the form of the Corex. I found some more Corex as well. C-O-R-R-E-X. Temporary flooring type of thing that you can put on. Floor protector. That's impervious to weeds and it's a great little uh, little product. Get that down there. Now I'm going to do exactly the same as I've done on the other bed there at the far side. That's going to be um, uh, that's going to be a potato bed in the buckets, the same way as that is. Those were started six to eight weeks ago, but the new ones are going to be going in here, and we're going to get that succession coming through when we need the potatoes. This uh, bed that's closest to me, that's going to be for the uh, beetroot, and if I've got time today, I'm going to put the beetroot in there. But yeah, let's crack on. These are the buckets, or these are rather six, which is a third of the buckets that we're going to be doing today. These are the amendments that we're going to be putting into the growing medium. So that's just bog standard compost. Growing medium there, blood fish and bone, the amendment. And also a couple of handfuls of the uh, poultry manure, chicken manure. Okay. That's what we're going to be doing now. The 75 litre bags of the compost will do about four buckets. So we should be able to get four buckets out of one 75 litre bag of compost. Into that, we're going to put a, a scoop for each bucket. Yeah? Of that. Now, when I say scoop, I mean a handful sprinkle of the blood fish and bone. And a handful sprinkle of the pelleted poultry manure is going to go into the for each bucket so four and four right enough blathering let's crack on okay four handfuls of each cupped handfuls of each i'm just going to work really work that in i'm going to need two hands for this so i'm going to have to uh, pause you for a little bit but i'm going to work all of that in through the mix so it's got a good even mix of the feed in there and then we're going to load up the buckets with it so just give us two minutes now there are 12 first early are called new potatoes there the determinate potatoes and they'll grow around six inches they'll spread hopefully and fill the bucket up but they'll grow in the first six inches and then i'm going to put another one there and that'll that'll fill up the uh, the pot that's that's the hope so we're going to offset them i'm going to put one here at the bottom couple of inches from each side fill up the um, there's about two inches worth of um the compost with the feed in in the bottom of that i'm going to top off that so it's about there and then i'm going to put another one here so it's just above it and then hopefully it'll all be full of potatoes by the time we tip it out that's the plan we're hoping for around two and a half to three pounds of potatoes out of each one of these buckets these 20 litre buckets or just short of 20 litre buckets I know that's a bit optimistic, but we'll see how we get on. Okay. Right. So that's the first set all in. So that's the second layer, which is a couple of inches above the first layer. Okay, so there's the first bucket row of the Accord. First earlies. Six buckets, two in each. There's 12 potatoes in there. 12 seed potatoes occupying a space of about 18 to 20 litres in each bucket which sounds overcrowded and probably is but we're going to see what the results are that we're going to get from those fingers crossed it's an experiment should be all right though we're hoping for about two and a half to three pounds next up we've got the red dukes of york so we're going to be putting those in the red-faced Dukes of York, and he should have a red face, shouldn't he? But there we go, the red Dukes of York. Same situation with those, two per bucket, offset. 
and we'll crack on. The Red Dukes are quite fast producers. They tend to have better chits, yeah? They start um, to chit earlier than the other potatoes. Only slightly, you know, but uh, it does make a difference. So we're going to um, top those up now. Put up, Well, I'm going to cover those up now, put another layer of, um, of the Dukes in, and then we'll, uh, we'll continue on and fill the buckets. We're filling them up to where the handle lines are, and some of them have been taped over, although not... Yeah, that one has. That's been taped over, but just to give it the, the same sort of a chance, we're just going to run up to where that line is. I'm not going to fill it up any more than that. And we'll see what we get. So all we do with these supermarkets cut flower buckets is uh, you need to drill the drainage holes in because they don't come with the drainage holes. So nine millimeter metal drill bit we've used on those ones. I put seven drainage holes in the bottom. It's a bit of a balancing act, the drainage really. You don't want to put too much in, you don't want to put too little in. Uh, but we've found that about seven in one of those is, is, is adequate. Um, just depends on how much rain you get, doesn't it? But uh, that seems like a good compromise, really. I've drilled loads of them there. They've all been done. I've got I've got more than enough. We've got these big uh, tubs there as well. I'm going to try one main crop potato in each one of those potentially, and see how they get on there. Do a sort of a Tony O'Neill simplify gardening side by side on those ones. A side by side experiment on those see how they get on but yeah so that's all you do you just drill some drainage holes in the bottom of them we've got seven in there other amounts of holes are available obviously if you want to put more in put more in but i wouldn't put less than seven in got hundreds of buckets haven't we might try and see if anybody else wants them okay so there's another row six buckets two in each red dukes of york so we've got the Accord, we've got the Red Dukes of York. I was hoping to put a full row of Ulster Prince in. But I've only got eight. I've only got eight left. So that's four buckets full. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put the uh, uh, two buckets with Swift in. I've got th six Swift left behind, left over. So I'm just going to put three in each of those. Just see what happens in it. But uh, they'll not be part of the experiment, these will. Um, so we're going to have to base it based on uh, the percentages. So that'll be like, uh, we'll have to do them as eights. When we do the tip outs, we'll do them as eights. So there'll be eight, or rather four buckets of the Ulster Prince, four buckets of the Red Dukes and four buckets of the Accord. And then we'll leave the other ones just to grow on. But we're going to give it the 12 weeks, give them 12 weeks and then do the tip outs. Although I may do it like we were planning on doing with the, with the open beds. So the ulsters are in. I've got two more pots that, which are bigger. They're about half as big again as these, much deeper. So because I've got three of each of those, I'm gonna put three of each in the, in the deeper pots and uh, see how they get on. And there they all are, all in. And label the cords, Red Dukes, Ulsters, and then two Swift at the back in the bigger buckets. Looking smart. As am I. I've just been for my ears lowered. Got them lowered a couple of inches. I took the lads as well. We've got, uh, they've all had haircuts. They've all been shorn now. They're not woolly sheep anymore. Right, I'm back on the plots though. Um, I decided it was going to, it was a bit of a hazard having all that mud and detritus and all the rest of it that was down here. I'll show you. I'm just digging it all out here. De weeded it, de weeded everything. And I'm taking the big, the big mound of earth there and I'm sort of sticking it in these, um, these 35 litre uh, buckets. So yeah, I'll probably fill another one. I'm going to flag that. I may actually start to alter the um, the flags today if I can, if I get the chance. In fact, I will. I'll try and move them over because it's winky wonky that. That was put in afterwards and that is straight, but that's not. So I'm going to make it straight, make the flags meet up with the tiki tunnel. I'll just try and move them over now, actually. 
make a start. Don't know if you can see that, but I've just scraped out that channel down there for the first three. I'm going to get the spade at that edge now and just uh, move them over if I can. Forgive the camera work, boys and girls. I'm going to put the spade in there and then start start to edge them over if they'll move. <coughs> Which they should. I'll just be taking my time with it. There, a brick there, look. If I can get them up to the flush, so that the flush. Kind of like that. Difficult to do, obviously, one-handed. So leave me with it, and I'll just... Uh, Carry on with that, get them all flush. It's a bit neater, just kink in a little bit. That it's not 100% straight. That, and until you get the flags down, I couldn't tell, but it isn't. It's a, not 100%, it kinks in a little bit there on that last section. That kinks in about an inch. The rest of it seems to be running okay, you know. But that kicks out, doesn't it? Doesn't meet up. Anyway, it's an allotment plot, isn't it? So yeah, I just thought I'd get that straightened up while I was here, or more or less straightened up while I was here. It only took about 15 minutes, that. I'll level it up um, this week and get it something, uh, something like straight and, and true. But yeah, it looks a bit better now. I've got the other um, flags down there. I've got another 12 of those flags. So I'll have enough to do that path, I'm thinking. Right. What else did we say? Oh, the long beans. I'll try and get them in. No, I won't. I'll do it tomorrow. I've had enough today. I've been down for uh, for about four hours. Done plenty of weeding. Done plenty of shifting. I'll get the beans in tomorrow. There's always tomorrow, guys. Fingers crossed, isn't there? And as I say, I'm going to be doing an hour a night, or trying to do an hour a night, every night, after work. Just come here. I can get down here for, for just after five o'clock, and then about half, about quarter past six, I'll uh, I'll get myself off, you know, get myself home. Helen tends to pick the kids up from school, from the after school clubs. So it should be fine. Right. See you later, boys and girls. Take care of yourselves and each other. Remember, we love you all. And keep growing with your heads down. That's the key. Alright, take it easy now. Ta-da.